What's good, y'all? It's your boy KG, and we're here with another vet. Today we got a little project for y'all. Like I said before, you know, on this channel too, I wanna, you know, show you guys the the journey of me building my car. So today, you know, it might be my first video. It's good. Well, today is gonna be my first video. You know, me doing that. Um, today I'm gonna be throwing the coilovers on the car. I had the coilovers for a hot minute now, but it's just a matter of me putting them on. Like I have a couple of parts to put on the car, but. I don't, I have to make time to put it on. Yeah. I'm currently on my way to Queens right now to pick up Chris. He about to help me put them on, you know, he the, he the mechanic genius. And I don't know shit about cars, so he about to walk me through putting it on. You know, to basically tell me what to do and how to do it. But look, I just got on the highway. And you already, you already know what we get into. Hey, today I was originally supposed to be putting on my exhaust from the headers back, a full ISR exhaust setup. But uh, one of the V-band clamps I have there is not good, so I have to wait. I have to order a replacement first, and then you know put it on. I'm probably most likely I'm gonna do it next weekend, or probably maybe next week. You know, by the end of the year. But I want to make sure you know I get it. That's something I want to get done because. I have an exhaust leak right now and this should sound nasty. I, I haven't really done much to the cars yet though. So far, all I've really done, when I, now when I bought the car originally, it had, I had to change the motor because it had like a cylinder three misfire, but we, we couldn't really find the issue out. So we just, you know, I just did, my cousin already did the 37 swap into his G, so I took his old motor and put it into here, but yeah. But so far, I didn't really, I really didn't do much to the car. The only thing I really did so far was I put the H&R lowering springs on, which makes the car feel so bouncy. That's the reason why I really, you know, want to put on the coilovers quick. Because my car right now is like, it feel like a boat. Like, it should just bouncing. Hey, yo. But another thing I also did to it was a brake brake kit from the 37s. Uh, yeah, I, and I, I sprayed over the calipers. I really, as much as, as far as cosmetics and everything, I really haven't done much to the car. But springs and the big brake kit. But I have I have so much stuff to add to the car. Or so a lot of things I want to do to the car. But I'm gonna just do it little by little, whenever I have the time, and bread, and you know, and just knock it out. But trust me, by summertime, my goal is by summertime to finish you know my car completely. And the way how the vision I have for this car is, bro. I mean, summertime, I'm obviously, you know, I'm going to try to get as much content as possible to most likely go to car meets and, you know, car shows. I do want to get a drift car also, you know, start drifting, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to take my time with everything, you know, take everything slow. But yeah, I, I just made it off the highway. I'm about to go pick up Chris right now and then get money after and I'm going to get right back to y'all boys. Alright, but we made it to the crib though. I never really put the G on my my channel before but hey it's the first look of it you now i got black rims i don't know if y'all can see the calipers though i got green calipers too and i don't really you know too crazy done in it yeah i still got the 35 you know front end but i am gonna change it in the future and right now i got on the you know h and lowering springs and it's not too bad though like it sit low fitting on it is great it's just the only bad part about it, to be honest, is it's a bouncy part. But yeah, we about to throw on the coils real quick, get the car jacked up, and get started. All right, we just got this shut out. And you see, we, yeah, this how this is what the H and R lowering springs look like. But what I recommend it depends. If you're on a budget, I recommend if you're on a budget. But you know, coil is the way to go. It's a new set of coils we putting in. You know we have to go with the BCs. I know it's like a big jump, but we basically finished putting on the coil of us. As you can see, I mean the fitment on the back. I mean I lowered it a little more. Well, not a little more. It's, it's pretty much the same height, but yeah, the fronts still gotta gotta lower it a little bit. I mean we finished a little bit too late, so we just cold it in the night. No mind my car rashes though. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, the car is it's pretty much sitting good, but I just gotta readjust the fronts, and then yeah. Most likely gonna readjust the fronts this weekend. I just wanna make the make the fronts a little lower, cause this is too it's too high for my liking. Now, overall though, 
Cold overs, 10 out of 10. Highly recommended. If you're looking, you know, trying to make a decision whether or not to add cold overs to your car, 100% recommend it. It rides way smoother rather than it being bouncy. And them corners, you could just take them smooth and it just sits nice. Driving wise, it's sturdy. With this front, just like nasty. Look at the gap. <laughs> My whole hand in that shit. But the nice thing I want to do, other than lower these callovers, is I want to polish and ceramic coat it. Like, the ceramic coating alone would just add 10 times the gloss to it. And I also want to, you know, do a chrome delete throughout the car. Like, I feel like, you know, the dark theme on the G is it's, it just wiggle. Yeah, we made it back to the crib. My little baby here. If you guys are new to the channel, that's pretty much it for the vlog. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Say bye bye. Turn them by. <laughs> and we out.